Hey everyone, welcome to my channel. So today I have my sister here with me and we are doing our base box sister versus sister unboxing for April, 2021. Now, if you're unfamiliar with BoxyCharm base box, it is their base subscription and is $25 a month for five full size products. And you do get to pick one of the products inside. I will leave a link down below if you're interested in signing up. I did post a PR unboxing of this um, last week, the week before, something like that. So if you want to see that and a try on as well, which is included in the video, definitely go check that out. But if you're new to my channel, welcome. I do lots of different subscription box unboxing videos here on my channel and sometimes my sister joins me. So if you're a <laughs> sub box lover like me, go ahead and subscribe. And let's jump in. All right, so the theme this month is sweet treats. Super cute, love it. So it comes with this card and it has candy all over it. And then the back goes over products, the price, and a description of each product. And so I have variation 40 and you have variation 25. 25. Boom. Why did I say that? <laughs> so I was like. <laughs> So the first thing that I am pulling out of my box is the Natasha Denona Ayana palette. Now this is a boxy exclusive, so you can only get this palette in boxy charm, but it's Natasha Denona and that's super exciting. So this is what the palette looks like. It retails for $48 and I am obsessed. Now, one of the other palettes that you could have gotten was the Jubilee palette, which I got in my PR box. This was also $48 in a boxy charm exclusive. So that's the other palette you could have gotten. But in this box, I got the Ayana palette. So there are the shadows on my fingers. And there are the shadows on my hand. Super duper pretty colors. I love Natasha Denona's formula. It's really great at blending. It's really high quality. And I love this because it's a really good neutrals palette. Um, and with the five shades, you can still do a lot. So I'm super excited to have gotten it. Alrighty, so my first item is a face oil by Pharmacy. It is the Honey Grail Ultra Hydrating Face Oil and it retails for $48. Alrighty, so this is what the face oil looks like. And it says it is a fast absorbing non-comedogenic <laughs> non face oil that delivers intense hydration and helps to smooth the appearance of fine lines and wrinkles so yeah let's I want to see if it smells like honey oh it does it smells exactly like honey. oh wow it really does yeah. smell like honey I wouldn't have expected that um, and so it looks like a very liquidy oil too like not super thick yeah so that's cool I've, I've had a few items by pharmacy and I really like them I think I'm using their toner right now I think <laughs> don't yeah. quote me on that but I like pharmacy products yeah the only thing is that that's like a super ultra hydrating oil and we both do have oily skin so yeah so yeah I'm really excited about this product like I said I'm not sure if it's gonna be good for my skin but I do like the pharmacy brand so we'll see I might try it out and just see what happens with my skin so my next product out of the box is by studio makeup and this is their tinted moisturizer which retails for $35 this is a boxycharm exclusive as well so two boxycharm exclusives in my box um, this did come in four different shades. I picked the lightest shade and I don't know, there's no shade name on it, I think, but I picked the lightest shade. So that's what it looks like. Really pretty basic packaging. Now I am, there's only four shades. I'm very pale. I'm curious to see how tinted this will be, but I liked the idea of the tinted moisturizer because I'm not really wearing makeup right now. And I'm like, Ooh, a tinted moisturizer might be nice to just give me a little bit of something, even though I'm not wearing makeup. And this was the choice item that I chose. I really like the packaging, how it's a pump. Yeah. That makes it nice. So there it is on my hand. I'm not gonna lie, that took me about 30 minutes to squeeze out of the tube and there was probably a lot of air in that because that's one pump out of the package. So, I don't know. I'm gonna take this off my hand and put it on my arm and rub that in. That looks way too dark for you. <laughs> oh no, <laughs> it's like orange. Wait. No. Oh, it smells like coconut. It does smell Wait, good. but when I rub it in, in, like when I rub it in, then it goes away. Mm. So, I don't know. <laughs> in, in the camera, it doesn't look bad, but in person, like when you, it did give you a tan though. It might give me a little bit of color. I'm going to have to see how that's going to be on my face because it does add color. It might work. It I might mean, work. You're probably going to get a little bit of a tan this summer too. I'm not convinced that <laughs> I'm going to leave my apartment, but thanks. <laughs> So yeah, I don't know. I will have to really rub it out, like yeah. blend, blend, blend. But when it's blended out, the only thing is like, I feel like there's not a lot of product in here. And so this will mm -hmm. be about mm, maybe like 
five uses worth. It smells really nice like coconut though, though I will say if you're, I know some people are allergic to coconut, this probably won't work for you, but it smells nice. It feels nice on the skin. It is a little bit tinted. It does look a little streaky maybe. Yeah. I don't know. I'm gonna have to try it on my face at some point and hope that I don't look like an orange mess. Alrighty, the next item that I got is the Touch and Soul Pretty Filter Icy Sherbet Primer, which retails for $32, and this is the item that I chose. This is what the packaging looks like. It's so cute. It's like this pastel pink, and let's see. I, of course, you guys know I have to smell it. Oh, it's sealed. There's a little cap on top of it, like a... Ooh, okay. <laughs> I don't know how you go. <laughs> it flies everywhere. How do you... Mm. Oh, oh. <laughs> we're stupid. Oh, oh. Ooh, okay. so this is a gel um, primer. Look, <laughs> it looks like I wanna gummy eat bear Wait, sauce. It smell gummy bear sauce. Wait, that's purple. It doesn't smell like sherbet. It smells like rosy, skin carry, sexy man a little bit. Like, I'm not sure where it, is. it smells more like sexy woman. Like X. I don't know what man you're talking to. <laughs> Wait, feel it. None. <laughs> Wait, I want to feel some. Can I touch some? No. I'm just kidding. Oh. Uh, is ooh, it like velvet? That like melts into your skin when you like blend it. Oh. That's oh. nice. I've never felt something like that. And then you feel like, like you don't have anything on your skin. I like, and it's kind of cooling. It gets to the point where it feels like you're just rubbing water in your skin kind of, but like in a good way. Ooh, I like that. I thought it was going to be thick because it looks thick. Ooh, yeah. that's fun. I'm excited about this. And I, I don't wear primers. Like I have a bunch. I've gotten good ones. I just... In the morning when I'm getting ready, always forget. <laughs> but I'm excited to try this one and see because I do feel like when I use primers a lot, I get oily throughout the day faster and my makeup just rubs off. So hopefully this one won't because it's more of a gel versus like a white. Um, yeah, like paste. a creamy one. Yeah. So. Plus it'll look really cute on your like vanity or in your yes. bathroom or whatever with that little frosted pink. I packaging. have a light pink soap dispenser and oh, toothbrush true. holders and candle so I can just put this thing on display. <laughs> All right, so if you didn't get either of those two items, you would have gotten the Earth Harbor Aurora Superfood Illuminance Ampule, I think it was, for $32. I did get that one in my PR box. Um, so it's a nice kind of skincare item that you could have gotten as well. So the next thing that I am pulling out is wrapped like extra for whatever reason. And this is by Eloise and this is their Get Gleaming Body Glow Illuminator. Um, this retails for $38. So this is in Champagne Rich. Okay, let's see what this looks like because with my pale butt, um, I need a light shade. <laughs> so we'll see. All right, so this is what the product looks like. Um, it's pretty. I don't know if it'll work with my skin. Now, I like Eloise Beauty because this is a black owned beauty brand. Um, and yeah, this is a cute packaging. I wanna see, I'm gonna have to put some on my arm. <gasps> Ooh, do you see that pump? Oh, that's it's like, a weird pump like it I mean that's what a pump does but anyway let me put some on my skin I'm just curious to see because I think there was only one shade you could have gotten mine isn't champagne rich which I probably already said that I'm just curious to see like on my skin if it's gonna like kind of blend out um it's not a self tanner is it it's just like a shimmer no it's a body glow illuminator okay. like I could put on my collarbones and stuff that's what it looks like on my arm okay it doesn't have a scent I mean I will have to rub it out really good but I think I can pull that off like on my collarbones and stuff. Yeah, if you put it in the right areas. I wonder if you could use it, I mean, I know you probably won't, but put it on your face, like on your cheekbones or something. It I don't feels kind of sticky though. Yeah. Not sticky, but it's very, it's not drying down. I feel like I almost need to top it with a highlighter to keep it in place. So I'm not sure I'll put it on my face because my face doesn't react well to that, but my body might. Mm -hmm. Like if I want to look like, you know, gleaming or whatever, I'd probably put that on like my collarbones. Or even like if you're going out and you just want something on your arms or something to shimmer, that might be cute. Alrighty, so my next item is by Mally Beauty. It's an eye color shadow stick extra and it is in the shade Timeless Taupe. This is what it looks like. So I guess it's just like an eyeshadow stick you put on your eye. I am not gonna swatch this because this is gonna go in a giveaway. I just personally don't think I would ever use it, but I think it's a great item. So yeah, it's just basically an eyeshadow stick and taupe. <laughs> I don't know what more to say. If I could swatch it, I could know more about like how creamy it is or whatever, but I don't want to ruin it for you guys. Yeah, I'm not a big fan of sticky eyeshadows as well because I have like oily skin and stuff. If I use them on my lid, then I have to set them and do all this extra stuff to them to make them work and it's just not that fun. Um, I think there were different shades you could have received in that, like maybe four or five different shades you could have gotten. So that's 
another option as a different shade. So that did retail for $25. Then there were two other products you could have gotten. One of them was the Dragon Beauty Concealer for $25. There was a lavender shade and then a green shade. It was more like a color corrector. I did get the lavender in my PR box. So if you want to see me try that on, you can. Or you could have gotten the Georgette Klinger Vitamin C Mask, which retails for $36. All right, so the next item we actually both got in their lashes by Flirtatious Looks Cosmetics, and it's called the Monarch Lash Pack. So it comes with two sets in there, and it also comes with these cool tweezers, which I guess make it easier to apply. Yeah, and this is a new launch. So this is a new product by Flirtatious Looks. <laughs> it does retail for $38, and I will say these look super good quality. They look natural. They're they're not like sticking together at all. They're they're between chic and natural, which is perfect for me. So I actually am super I don't ever wear falsies, but I am going to try these out. Um and I love this is besides the point, but I love butterflies. So I love that it has butterflies all over it. <laughs> Yeah, I mean, I'm I'm excited about it too. I never wear lashes, but I don't ever, I love getting lashes because I'm like, well, maybe someday. So whenever I actually do wear lashes, then I'll probably wear these, <laughs> but I do really like them. Now, there were a bunch of other products that you could have gotten in that category. So if you didn't get that, you could have gotten the Queen Studio Dragon Lash Mascara for 18, the eyeliner pen from Aurora for $11.99, the Cream Shop Halo Lovely Powder Highlighter Trio Palette, for $18 and that came in two shades. Also from the cream shop, you could have gotten the 123 Smile Shading Cream Trio Palette for $18. That came with three different shades. The Trend Beauty Unicorn Dust for $12.50. Or the Laura Geller Iconic Baked Sculpting Lipstick for $21 and that came in 12 shades. I did get one of those in my PR box um, where I tried it on. All right, up next we have a highlighter by Kinder Beauty. It's the Kinder Glow Highlighting Palette. It is talc-free, enriched with coconut oil, cruelty-free, vegan, no parabens. So yeah, <laughs> let's see what it looks like. Alrighty, so this highlighter palette does retail for $15, and this is what the palette looks like. It is super cute packaging. And then on the inside, it does come with four different shades. This one is Angel, Gracious, Loving, and Kindly. I guess I'll go ahead and swatch them. <laughs> so here are the four shades on my fingers. I don't know if you guys can really see, but that's what they look like on the hands. I think I'm doing a really bad job at this. It's okay. <laughs> I can barely see it on the camera, but they actually, in person, it looks like they're really good pigmentation, so. Yeah, they're like natural, but like still really shimmery, so I actually do think they look pretty nice. Yeah. Now, if you didn't receive the Kinder palette, then the other option in that category was the Terry Mars um, 8, 008 Redition Body Cleanser, which retails for $22. So this is an organic, low foaming, aromatic, and soft cleanser suitable for all skin types. It's infused with bioactive ingredients such as coffee and rosemary extracts infusion with verbena oil. Together they tone, purify, and protect the skin while aloe vera nourishes and softens it. I did receive this in my PR box, but it does smell really, really nice. Kind of natural. It's not sealed, just an FYI. I don't know if you want to smell it. You probably can't smell a lot. <laughs> Wait, did I put some on you? I think a bubble. Oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> no, you're fine. Maybe it's just the air, but it's scary. <laughs> <laughs> But the, yeah, this smells kind of like rosemary and is really nice. So that was everything in both of our boxes this month. Now, each month we do give it a rating out of five. One point if we like it and we're going to use it zero points it's not for us we're never going to use it or a half a point if we need to kind of try it out more to see if we're going to like the products so the natasha denona palette will be a point the body wash is a point the tinted moisturizer is going to be a half a point because i still need to make sure this is going to work on my skin first then the aloise is also going to be a half a point again need to make sure it's going to work on my skin first and it was a little bit liquid and like wet and oily so i don't know if i'm going to love it and then also a half a point for the lashes because i don't wear a ton of lashes so i'm going to give it a half a point so that is a three and a half out of five boxy charm not mad about my box i definitely feel like the natasha nona palette and this like I'm happy for 25 bucks that that's totally good. Um, so I do think that it was a decent box, not my favorite box in the whole world, but I still thought it was good. Alrighty. So for me, I'm going to go ahead and give this oil a half a point. Love pharmacy, but you know how my face is with oils and I have oily skin. So I do need to try it out and see how it's going to feel on my skin. 
I'm gonna give a point to the primer. I love this, felt super good, smelled good as well. A point to the lashes, they look really nice and natural, but like, cheek, I don't know. <laughs> I don't know, I'm excited to try these, so a point. And then I'm gonna give a half a point to the highlighter. I think it's a really good quality highlighter, but I have so, so many that I just don't know how much use I'm gonna get out of it. So I think that was, wait, oh, I'm missing the stick. I'm personally gonna give zero points to this just because I'm not gonna use it. <laughs> But it is a good item, so that is two three, and a half. No, three. Three, three, three points. Let me get my math straight. <laughs> three out of five. Um, again, with Katrina, this isn't my favorite box, but I do think I got some good things, and I'm excited to try them out. So definitely let us know your thoughts down in the comments below. What did you think of our boxes? I would have picked my box over yours. Whose box would you have picked? My box over Okay. <laughs> so we still like our own boxes better, but definitely let us know which box did you prefer, what products did you get in your box. When I listed off the different variations, sometimes they do throw in extra products, especially if you're a new time subscriber, they may throw other things in. But I do like to kind of list off all of the products that they show on their channel just so that um, you get a better view of what you could have received. So anyway, let us know your thoughts down in the comments below, and we'll see you in our next video.